What's going on guys? Welcome to the video. So if you're a new seller or you're thinking about becoming a seller on eBay, one of the things you're going to need for your business is supplies. Some you can get for free, but there's others that you're going to have to go out and purchase. And obviously you want to keep that cost as minimal as possible. So in today's video, I'm going to take you to the Dollar Tree and I'm going to show you a handful of items that you can find there for a dollar and use in your reselling business on eBay. item we're going to show you is tissue paper. You don't have to use it with every sale, but if you have something nice and you want to wrap it up, you know, typically I use just plastic, like clear poly bags for protection and presentation, but sometimes tissue paper does come in handy, and for 35 sheets at a dollar, you can't beat that. Here's a picture of from Walgreens Drug Store, where they sell tissue paper, same size, 35 sheets, and it's $3.99. Hangers. If you sell clothing, hangers are a must-have. Whether you're going to use them to store your items, or you can store them in bins like this, or you're going to use it when you do photography, or if you just want to hang up your items when you first get home from the thrift store until you can photograph them so they don't get wrinkly. And seven hangers for a dollar is a really good deal. All right, another great item to have is plastic bags. Usually I put most of my items into these clear suffocation warning bags, but sometimes you know, that's not really needed, and you could go with smaller bags. Sandwich bags, okay, 22 bags for a dollar, or they have the gallon size, many different sizes, and for a dollar, it's worth having a box of these on hand for certain smalls, put them in plastic so they don't get damaged or wet during shipping. All right, one good item that they sell there are these bristle and wire brushes. They come in three different, like, strengths like a hard, medium, and soft. If you're gonna sell things like shoes, these are great for cleaning the bottoms. You can wet it down and then use these bristle brushes to scrape out and to clean out the, um, you know, between the soles. Great thing to have for a dollar, it's worth having on hand. All right, items to clean are a must have. You can find many cleaners, you can find rags, gloves, sponges, you know, brushes, all kinds of things. Sometimes they'll sell things like this, which is just like a Brillo erasing wipe. But sometimes you get lucky and they will be selling Mr. Clean Magic Eraser. This is the best thing out there. These are great. You wet them and you clean. And when I was there and I do find them, last time I went, I bought 12 of them. So one of these for a dollar is a good deal. Here's a screenshot that I took from the supermarket where they sell a four pack for $7. So that's a good savings right there. And these are great for cleaning many different surfaces. Not clothing, but shoe soles, hard goods, so forth. Okay, some other items you might need. Q-tips, much cheaper than buying them at like a CVS or a Walgreens. You get a dollar, 300 of them. If you sell like electronics, these are good to have to clean like in the grooves or inside the, you know, the speakers, whatever be the case. Little like tools, they sell all kinds of screwdrivers, hand tools, something like this, little jeweler screwdrivers are great to have. Some things you need a little screwdriver to open up the battery compartment. Always good to have on hand. Toothbrushes, could be three, four, five dollars at a drugstore. Buy one for a dollar. You could use this when you clean like the brims of hats, shoes, something you need to have on hand. Small plastic bins, Tupperware, are great to have. You don't need a lot of them. Depending on what you sell, maybe you do. But for small things, eyeglasses, you know, small toys, hard goods, whatever be the case that you don't want to throw into a big bin, like behind me, where they might get lost inside, 
these are great to have and at a dollar can't beat it all right they also sometimes carry mailers now you don't want to buy the bulk of your mailers there that's not going to work out but if you want to find one or two or you're in a pinch they sell them this is a 12 by 18 bubble mailer very large I don't buy these in bulk but to have one or two on hand I will pick it up at the dollar store and it's great to have you never know when it's going to come in handy and that's a key to shipping always have things on hand all right something else I showed when I was in the store pool noodles dollar for a pool noodle is a great deal you can use these for padding if you sell electronics like stereos VCRs some people slice them long ways and a board of their box with it I like to slice them into rings like maybe you know an inch or two thick like a donut and then you can float it inside the box put them under around all four sides comes in handy you know regionally you may not be able to find these all year round so if you live up north buy them in the summer you know get a handful of them and you have them I'm in Miami Fort Lauderdale area and I could get them all year round peroxide is another great thing to find right now there's a shortage on it so it's tough to find but this stuff is great for cleaning like shoe soles like on sneakers the whites of sneakers put a little um, isopropyl alcohol on a towel and you can rub it right off it's great for cleaning pencils pens scissors paper clips rubber bands things that might seem obvious or eventually you can be like oh my god I need these so get them at the dollar store save yourself that money now obviously some of it is not going to be the highest of quality but for what you're using it for it doesn't need to be you want to save money that's the key and of course you can't ignore the candy aisle in the dollar store I don't eat much sweets but when I do go to the dollar store I always grab a bag of Haribo peaches I love these things they're so good and great to snack on when I'm doing my photography so go to the dollar store and get yourself some supplies save yourself the money thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video goodbye